Hello and welcome to Minute JavaScript, where I cover topics quickly and concisely. Today I'll be covering the methods apply, bind, and call. These are three methods used to set the context as well as arguments when calling a function. Okay, let's get started by looking at bind. So here I have a basic cat object. It has a name and it has a speak function. In the speak function, it just returns a string. And you can see here I'm calling it with cat speak and I'm passing in the argument meow. The result of that is mojo says meow. Now because of the way I'm calling cat.speak, the speak function knows that this is cat. But if I were to call it differently, let's say if I were to have a cat speak function, which equaled cat speak, if I were to call cat speak now with meow, the results look a little bit different. I'm now seeing undefined instead of mojo. And the reason this happens is because the cat context has been lost. Whereas here on line eight, cat is in context. But what we can do to prevent cat speak from losing the cat context is we can bind cat to this function. And I can do that just by calling bind cat. And now line 12 is correct with mojo says meow. And that is because cat is being passed in as the context, which becomes this. And instead of cat, we could actually pass in any object here. Because the this object is expecting a name property, I just have to specify name here and I can put Joel in here and I can say Joel says meow. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new function called cat meows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in an additional argument to the bind method. And now I can just call cat meows because both the context as well as the first argument have been bound to cat meows. Cat becomes this and meow becomes sound. It's also important to note that once you've already bound a context to your function, you cannot rebind another context. An example is if I created cat speak too, and I took cat speak and I were to bind null onto it, When I call cat speak to, even though I've bound null to it, it's still going to return mojo because cat was initially bound to it. So rebinding the context has no effect. While bind returns a function, call will immediately call the function. So if I were to create the cat speak function again, I could then use call to immediately assign the this context as well as arguments to the function. And apply is almost exactly like bind, with the difference being apply expects the arguments in an array format. Passing an array as arguments may be useful when you don't know how many elements are in the array. For example, if I had a function here, I'll just call it test, that accepted an unknown amount of arguments which I wanted to pass to the cat speak method. I can now just pass args in. And now when I'm calling test with meow, there we go. Now it just passes all the args straight to cat speak. So thanks for watching this episode of Minute JavaScript. I appreciate you spending your time with me. Be sure to like and subscribe, share it with your friends and coworkers, and I'll see you in the next video.